Hello again. We are making more gift tags. This is episode two of the making gift tags tutorial. And this I would consider a tutorial. Typically my videos are kind of come along with me and uh, get some creative inspiration, see what I do. Uh, they're not to be followed along with in time because I make lots of mistakes. And I'm certain to make lots of mistakes in these gift tag videos. However, uh, I do think that I can categorize these as an official tutorial. So uh, check out episode one. If you have not, I'll put the link in the description to this video for that video. Uh, we're going to be building on what we learned in that video here. And let's just get started. We're going to add to some of the gift tags we made yesterday. Actually, it was just earlier today. Uh, we're going to add to the gift tags that we made earlier today, but you're watching this the next day. Um, and then we'll make some from scratch. So let's do that. Well, the first idea I had was that I would sew some of this. This is just some pretty kind of light blue lace that I had on hand. I never actually made a project with it, with any of this, but it's really beautiful. And I thought that I would cut a piece of cardstock and then cut a piece of lace and just kind of put the lace over it. And then I would take some of these snowflakes, which are really have a nice shine and sparkle to them and they have tape on the back. Even with these that have the tape on the back, I typically like to use some additional glue because they pop off pretty easily. I haven't actually used these before, so I'm not sure that they would pop off easily, but that's been my experience. So I would, I would put a little bit of extra glue on and then kind of put these around the tag. And I think that could look really pretty. Let's see if we can get a closer look at that. So that would look shiny and a little Victorian antique kind of tag. I can picture some really pretty wrapping paper going with that. So that's the first thing, but before we do that, let me put this aside, I thought for one of yesterday's tags, I thought for this tag, I remembered I had some of these bows, and I'm just going to peel one of these bows off and put it on the wreath. Uh, so I, again, I'm going to go get some glue because even though these are sticky, I, I don't trust that they're super sticky. So let's make them super sticky. It secures them really well. They typically use these kinds of glue for making like dollhouses and that kind of thing. So it is, it is pretty secure, but it's not so sticky that if you get some on your fingers, it's going to not come off. It's not like super glue. So, um, so this is what I like to use. I'm going to screw off the top, peel one of these off. And I'll just kind of put a little bit of this on the back. And then this will need to dry. And that looks pretty darn good. And now, actually, I was going to use some of these. Once I get this placed, I'm going to stick my glue kind of underneath the curved edge because these are not flat and put a little bit more glue and then push it down. And one more. Actually, I don't think it needs one more. No, it does. Does it? Let's see. Does it need one more? No. Okay. Now, I think I'm going to let that dry and I'm going to do the same here. Here, let's get a close look at this. I think that's looking good. Maybe it does need one more. I think maybe it does need one up in that corner. Let's put one more on. I'm feeling like it does. I think that's better. That looks good. So this just adds kind of, it, it's probably hard to see in the video, but this adds a three-dimensional flair to this tag. So I'm going to do the same, oopsie, I'm going to do the same for this tag. I'm going to put some of these gems in the center of a good, probably not all of the snowflakes, but a good amount of the snowflakes. I'll put um, a gem or two or three into the center of these. Let's see how that looks. And you know what I'm thinking makes more sense that I should have done on the other one. I should put the glue onto the, um, but I should be putting a dab, weak. That's a lot in the center of each of these snowflakes. Instead of dabbing the gem, I should be dabbing the snowflakes. I think that'll make it easier to. 
place these on. Let's see if that works a little better. I have to move fast because this glue, it does dry surprisingly quickly, which is nice, but you can't dilly-dally. Oh, I'm so excited about that. Okay, look at this one. It has three gems on this here, and then it has one on the other two, but those three gems just pop off really pretty. And that's done. I think that's looking really good. Let's do this next tag I wanted to try. Now my paper is a little bit warped here and I'm hoping that won't make a difference, but I'm gonna try and cut a piece out of the middle with my craft scissors. And I'm gonna try and make this one pretty big or relatively compared to some of the others. And then with my fabric scissors, I am going to cut a bit of the lace. I'm probably going to cut more lace than I think that I need because I can always trim it off later. I've actually never worked with lace before, so I don't know how it frays or how easy it is to sew with. I assume since it's not silky or stretchy that it's probably pretty easy to sew with, but I don't know. Let's find out. Let's see how it goes on this cardstock. Hey, this is kind of neat. And you know what I'm going to try? Um, I wish that I had put the cardstock on top because I think it would look nicer when you sew kind of the nicer side is always the one that's going to be on top. Um, and I should have, I should have turned this upside down. So I might go over it again with the cardstock up. Let's see how that, how that comes out. So you can kind of see this is really pretty. I love the brown through the back and I'm going to go over these lines and let's see hopefully hopefully you don't want to um, punctuate the cardstock too much because then it will rip off but let's just see what happens this is all an experiment and it might just look like a, a double line which could also look kind of fancy Think that both lines actually look almost exactly the same. So what I've learned from this is it doesn't matter if you have the cardstock on top or the lace on top. All right. You know what I wish I had was a white stamp pad because I think doing some white stamps on here, like maybe some white um, snowflake stamps or something would be really pretty. So I might have to at some point invest in a white stamp pad. I could use white paint, but I have tried using stamps with paint before and I have not been successful. It does not work so well. One year I wanted to use my two from stamp and um, I was so committed to using it but I couldn't find any of my stamp pads anywhere and so I used paint and it just was a blurry mess. Okay, awesome. So let me get the sewing machine out of the way. So I got the I got the pearls. These are purple, and again, they're stickers. They're adhesive, but I'm going to use my glue um, to really make sure that they stay on. Um, but what I'm thinking is that I'm actually not going to make this one. I'm not going to put the snowflakes on this one because I want to keep this one holiday neutral. So this one doesn't feel so Christmassy to me. I think it certainly can be Christmassy. I think lace is super Christmassy. But I think this could also be a nice Mother's Day tag or birthday tag. So I'm gonna leave this one neutral. And then I did find, well, I'll find it in a minute, but I did find some blue ribbon. Um, so I think the blue ribbon will be nice to use the little, the little tag. Oh, here it is, it's right in front of me, here. So I have this blue ribbon and I'll use that as the little gift tag part. So let's put some of these pearls on.
I changed my mind. I am going to put two snowflakes. We'll Christmas it up. Make a whole Christmas set here. And there it is. I'm going to put the hole punch in. Actually, I think some white over here. I think the white's going to look better. Yeah, I just need to iron it. So I always save my bits of ribbon and things like that from gifts that I receive, even if they're super small. Uh, this one probably was longer at one point, but I've used it quite a bit. Um, and I just trimmed off a little bit of the end that wasn't quite so nice. Let's stick that through the hole. I might leave this one untied so that whoever wants to tie it on will have an easier time with it. I think I'll do that. But here it is. The end product. I think that one's looking pretty good. That one might be my favorite so far. The other idea I had was that I was thinking I would cut out this image. So this is a piece of scrap that has a bunch of different images on it. I love the boy and the girl with her, it looks like a hand muff, but I actually think she's carrying something in it, like some, some um, branches or something like that. She has a beautiful winter Christmas hat and this is probably her brother and they're bringing home the Christmas tree and I was thinking I would cut this out it would be a little bit larger of a gift tag so what I could do is make it make my um, I wanted to put it on this cardstock and I could make it twice the side of the cardstock fold it in half and then it would be a little card so that that's an idea or I could still just put a little hole with a little um, tag and you could still just use it on a larger present or something like that. So let me think about that. But I'm going to iron this piece of fabric, cut out this image, and then we'll see what we're going to do from there. I've cut out the boy and girl from the Christmas tree. And then I also saw on the same piece of fabric this ornament with the bear that was really cute. Um, so I'm going to do something with that. I'd like to use, I was noticing that this green velvet ribbon matches the bear's um, dress really well. So I'd like to use that in some way, but I'm not exactly sure how I want to do that yet. So I'm going to think about that. So let's start with the boy though. I'm going to put him right onto this cardstock. I'm just going to cut out this piece and actually I'm going to get a fresh piece of that stock and I do want to make this a card. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to fold this in half. And if you have a bone folder, bone, no, what's it called? Bone folder? They use it for origami. I think it's called a bone folder or something like that. That, that feels wrong. That might not be what it actually is. But that would be good because you could put it down. I have one somewhere, but I'm just going to use these scissors. But if you have the bone folder, whatever it's called, you could just press along the edge here to give it a nice crisp edge but I'm gonna use my fingernail and the scissors and it won't work quite as well, but it'll work well enough. Okay, and then I need to see how much I wanna cut out. So this will be the front, it'll open like this. And so I'm gonna cut around, actually maybe, no, I'll cut it now. I was gonna say maybe I'll sew it and then cut it, but I think I'll, I think I'll go ahead and cut it now. So I'm just gonna cut it right like this. And then when I sew the piece on, I'll try and center it on there. Let's see how that looks. That's cute. And I'll just open it up and then stitch around. But I wanted to show you that I had an idea. I got this feathery rope, I guess it is, so long ago on clearance. And it's one of those things that I got and I was like, I can use this for something, but I don't know what. Uh, and so I have it and actually this I got this years ago, but this year uh, I also got on clearance some in red that has wire in it so you can bend it around So I'm gonna save that again. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it But for this I was thinking I could get I could take some of the red cardstock and I could line it 
in the fringe or the feathers so that it looks kind of Santa-like. I think that could be really cool. After I sew this card, I'll see if I have a darker red because this is kind of a muted red for Santa. I wish I had something that was a little bit more crisp red. So if I don't, I'll just use this. It'll be fine. But I'm going to see if I have a better red and that will be really fun. It might be too much with the, with the white feathers, but I don't think so. I think with Christmas, you can't have too much. And there you have it. What would be cute is if somebody put the, a photo maybe of their grandkids or something on the inside. Or if you're a parent, you can put a picture of your kids and then give it to the grandma, right? Right, kind of framed in the middle. I like this one. Let's think about this one. I am thinking that I would like this on the green. See, find a piece of green. No, not the green because I need to have the. I want to have the rib, the the velvet ribbon. See, once you start getting too far into projects, you can't find anything, and it's infuriating. So I'm going to take a minute, and I'm going to I'm going to pick up, and then I'll come back, and we can do some more. I definitely want to do this one, and I want to do this one, and then I also want to do a Christmas tree. I have an idea for a Christmas tree that will be fun. So I'm going to I'm going to pick up a bit and then I'll be right back. Oh, here's the velvet ribbon. It's right here. Let's uh let's keep going. Forget it. Who wants to pick up? No one wants to pick up. Uh, but I do want a color for this besides the green. Uh, I found a blue that I think will work nicely with this. And I thought I found a perfect red and then I came downstairs and it's the exact same red that I already had. So I think this will be fine. Um, so I'm going to just use that and I'll put the full sheet back where it goes. Now I need to hole punch right at the top of the ornament, but I can't hole punch just with the fabric like this. So I need to back it onto a piece of cardstock like this. And then I'm going to punch through both the fabric and the cardstock. a little piece of it off the back. And I found this pretty gold ribbon that I think will look really nice. So then we will string this pretty ribbon. We're trimming through this hole. I don't know if this is going to work, but we'll see. We'll find out. And then this is kind of wide, a wide ribbon. I probably should have chosen something skinnier, but that's okay. This is, this is, this might be ridiculous. Let's see. This is looking a little strange, I think. Mm. All right, we're just going to go with it. Just as an experiment. Maybe I'll trim the top. And now I'm going to glue, glue it to, um, this is not my favorite one, but, but let's see, maybe we can do something to fancy it up. Maybe we can put, maybe we can put some glitter around the trim or something like that. I haven't lost all hope yet on this one. And you know what I think I'm going to do for this instead of sewing it on? I'm going to try gluing it on. Let's just see what happens if we glue the fabric on because I just don't want to, I don't want to sew it. I don't want to do that. So let's glue. And it might be okay and it might, it might not. But anything is really okay. That's part of like the arts and crafts mentality, right? Like mistakes sometimes end up being really beautiful and sometimes some things that you think are going to work out really well just are awful. So we don't know how this is going to be yet. Put our glue on. 
I mean, I think I'm even going to glue this ribbon in place. And then I might trim the top of the card to make it less empty space up top. So maybe I should even tilt this ribbon around a bit. Let's try that. Okay. And now, what else do I have that could be... Oh, I was going to use the, the green velvet. That's right. Let me get that. I'm not really loving the green with the blue, um, so I think we're going to change course here. This is starting to look kind of not my favorite. I'm going to put this one aside for now, and let's move on to this kind of feathery and red card, and then we'll come back to this one. I'm going to cut out a nice size square so that you can really, you know, once you put this feathers on, the feather takes up a good amount of the space. So I'm going to cut a pretty good size um, square so that we have enough room to write on the inside of it. And then I'm just going to put some glue right around the edge all the way around. This might be the easiest one. Though once I say that, something will go wrong, I'm sure. Okay, and then I'm going to take the feathers and secure them. I should have only glued one side at a time and let it dry, but I didn't, so. We're just going to go for it, and I'm cutting with one hand here. Okay, let's see how much I need to cut this off. My glue is drying. Got to move fast. Okay, oh, I'm getting glue on my hands. And one more side. Let's see if we can make it all the way up. Okay, and then just kind of hold it on there again. Can't really see anything. This is hilarious. I don't know how I'm going to feel about this card. I'm just holding it on. And then after you hold it on and secure it for a while, snip off the top. And I just had another idea to use with this. I'm going to set this aside and let it dry. Cut off this tail back here. And I had another idea, which I think will be kind of funny, is I have this piece left over. So I was thinking if I cut like a hat, not with the, not with the fabric scissors, here's my craft scissors. If I cut kind of a triangle that looks like a hat, I think you know where I'm going with this. Then I can trim the bottom with the feathers and you know I'm gonna plug you know it's gonna be better than this glue for this particular part is a hot glue gun I was avoiding getting my hot glue gun out out of pure laziness but I'm gonna go plug the hot glue gun in because that will that will set better and I should have done this one with the hot glue and then I might have to I might have to fix this with some hot glue because I'm not sure how well this is gonna stick the way I want it to but um, I'm gonna hot glue First, I'm going to take off a tiny little piece of the end, like this, and that will be the tip of the hat, right? And then I will glue this down here. That will be hilarious. I love it. While I'm waiting for my hot glue gun to heat up, I thought I would take some of these green gems and place them in the holly marks, or maybe not in the holly marks, what should I do? Maybe, hmm, maybe I'll just put them kind of sprinkled around. I think I'll do that.
sparkly. Here it is all hot glued. And same with this one. This one almost looks like a picture frame or something. And then finally, before we finish up today, and I am gonna have a third and final tutorial where we'll, where we'll do another technique, but I saw this. Um, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna trim off this ribbon. And I thought for this tag, this gold right down the middle, I'm gonna hot glue that on and then trim the edges it would be really, really pretty. So let me do that. That looks nice, I think. Little, little gold bling. And finally, I think one of these um, bows will look nice in the corner of this. So let's stick that on. I'm gonna put a little glue in the corner here. And these are pretty sticky. These probably don't even need the glue, but can't hurt. And there's that. It actually looks like a little Christmas present, doesn't it? I wonder, oh, you know what would be cool? If I cut this in half and I made it go up and then over and it looked like a Christmas present. Let's try that real quick. So I'm just cutting this to be, because this is pretty thick, and this is velvet ribbon as well. This is really nice ribbon, um, but it's pretty thick. So I'm gonna hot glue this, and I'll be right back. That's cute. So now that I see this, I wish I had put the bow right in the middle, um, but I didn't think of it at the time, but that's okay. This is, this is cute, and I can make another one at some point with the bow in the middle, and it will look just like a Christmas present. You could do a whole set of these uh, in different, Fabrics, this is a great idea, and this is probably something that I will do again. If you just, and you know what, I'm also seeing some bumping from the hot glue gun, so I think you would need to use a different hot glue. I think that the hot glue does not love this velvet. Um, but you could make a whole set of these where they're just wrapped in different paper and different ways, but I, I, have, I have lots of visions for this. This is a good one to end on for today. Hey, that was a lot of fun. Uh, come join me tomorrow. We're gonna make another type of tag. This one's gonna involve Christmas trees and fabric. So this, one, this will be right up my alley. I'm really excited and I'll see you tomorrow.